Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison, and thank you for watching. Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. We're back on the help series again today. Um, today, we're going to cover voltage meters and their basic functions and how to use those when you're working around your cars and your motorcycles. I'll get the camera brought in here so you can actually see what's going on on the table, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, so today uh, we're working with the voltage meter. For those of you that haven't ever used one or uh, maybe have one and you're really not sure what it what you can do with it. We're going to go over some of the basic features. Um, this particular one's a Craftsman model. I've had it for quite a few years. Um, it was probably oh, a $50 tool when I bought it. Uh, it does have batteries inside to keep up the digital display and all that. And we've got a couple different locations here, or I guess about five different places here that you can select. And using this top corner, it's voltage DC, that's VDC, so voltage DC, that would be uh, direct current, anything in your car, motorcycle, that type of deal. The first three ranges here are voltage up to 600 volts, voltage up to 200 volts, and it's moving the decimal point here, voltage up to 20 volts. For us, working with cars and motorcycles, 90% of the time, we're going to be in that 20 volt. Uh, very rarely are we going to need to be up in 200 and 600 volt range unless we've got something, uh, an alternator that's going bad or you're working on uh, some other kind of equipment. Um, and then the next two are in the millivolt range. Uh, we got under uh, 2000 millivolt and under 200 millivolt. Those would be useful if you have a circuit that's got uh, a lot of resistors or something else in it. Uh, mostly those are going to be like use, used in working around electronics more than an automotive circuit. Um, so we're going to primarily be worried about 20 volts. The next set of ranges we've got is ohms and this is measuring resistance. And if again if you were working around electronics you would be measuring the resistance that a resistor or some other path of uh, a combination of circuits has created. Again, on your basic car stuff, not really going to be using in this range. This is mostly electronics, or if you were trying to diagnose uh, a bad motor or something, you might be looking for resistance in there, or a bad switch, you could be looking for it there. However, there is another form of resistance that we're interested in, and that is continuity. So this, this is a continuity test with a oral alert to let you know when uh, continuity has been reached and then you can read the display to see if there's any resistance in there. So right now with the one indicated, that indicates infinite resistance. We touch the two together, you can hear the beep, and the number goes to zero, meaning we have a completed circuit with zero resistance involved. Uh, the next one is going to be a battery test, and you can test for nine volt or one and a half volt. Uh, it'd be like if you were testing a nine volt battery one or a uh, a, uh, a double A, triple A type battery or something. Now we have this gray slot which shows 10 amps and that is a location so that we can measure amperage across a circuit to see what the draw is. It's limited to 10 amps. Any more than that the uh, unit will shut down and you're liable to burn up the wiring on it. So to use that feature though the red wire comes out of the voltage and, and continuity settings and goes over here to this gray so that they match uh, amperage check and that's all that's the only time that other plug is used for and the next three settings are for amperage DC so you can check but these are all for fairly low amperages um, again in an automotive setting probably not going to be used uh, but maybe on a rare occasion again mostly that would be used in electronics testing and then the final setting, which you'd use maybe at home, is voltage AC. It'll measure up to 600 volts and up to 200 volts. And at your home, you'd be using the 200 volt. Maybe out in your shop, you've got a, a 240 or, a, uh, or even some, some shops will have a 400, I think it's a 440 uh, volt setting or volt box. And you would maybe use that if you were testing that circuit. For our primary uses, we'd be over here on 20 volts DC all the way down at the bottom here with our continuity test and our 10 amp check. Some neat features with 
with this particular model is uh, you can add all kinds of different plugs and actually most of them as long as the wires are removable can be used can use different types of plugs I've got these which test uh, are fairly sharp they're used for testing circuits or testing batteries or whatever we'll put this over here on the 20 volt and grab a battery this is a battery off of a, a cordless drill and we're going to test for voltage across there and so right now we're showing about 11.2 volts 11.28 and interesting, if you switch the leads, if you get them backwards, not going to hurt anything. What you do get is a minus sign right there next to it. And that, that minus sign is telling you, you have your leads crossed. Um, other, other features that you can use are, we can add cables like these. This end plugs into the machine down here. These have a, a little bit sharper point. They also have this spring-loaded piece, and you're able to add additional clips and other features or other uh, tools so that you can then use alligator clips to clip onto the wires um, you can use a probe like this plugs in this is very sharp and it's made for uh, testing for poking in through the wire we also have leads like this one this plugs in here and then this has a little spring clip that comes out and if you, I don't know if you can even see that, but it's made so that if the wire is hanging out there, you can clip over it. Pushed in a little hard, and it'll hold on to it. So it's it's made for checking a little t smaller wires or close areas where you might not get that alligator clip in there. But there's lots of features like that. There's also one other here that I have, and this is a back test probe. I have it plugged in on this other. But you can plug this in. This is a very sharp point, and it is made for back testing the back side of a plug. So we have a circuit here, and if I needed to, rather than opening this plug up, if I needed to test inside there, I could plug in and try and get in there to the metal contacts of that wire. And we'll go over some of that, how to use some of that in another video. But uh, uh, there are a lot of features of this that you just don't use very often in the automotive world. For that reason, you don't necessarily need to spend $50 on a unit. This unit, which I'll actually show you this one, this unit right here comes from Harbor Freight. It's free with the right coupon. And uh, it's not that I think Harbor Freight has the best deal all the time or even the best tools, but this is actually a quality unit. Um, they're lightweight. They use a little battery to keep them powered up. Um, they have the same basic features that we were using on the last one. Get something here to point. We have a 20 volt setting. We have all of the ohm settings. We have a continuity. Now this one does not have a uh, oral alert with it, but it does do the same thing. We're showing about 0 .00, so 000, so uh, 000 in the continuity test, and when we release them, it goes to one. Um, it has the 10 amp, uh, feature, although instead of gray it's just 10 and it kind of highlights where this red plug needs to go, but it works exactly the same there. And then you go all the way up and you have your 9 and 1.5 volt tests, your AC test, this one happens to go 200 to 750 volts, and back over to the 20 DC. This one also has an on off switch down here. Um, I found it very useful, especially for free, I probably have four or five of these. If I leave one laying somewhere, I don't worry about having lost it. And uh, as I built my kids their own toolboxes, I threw one of these in each one of those. So um, anyway, that's it for voltage testers and voltage amperage, ohm testers, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll put some links in here to some of these and where I got the leads. And then we'll get on to some other videos of showing you how to actually use the unit in the future. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.